Hello everyone, good afternoon. I am shocked that there is actually good lighting right now. It's snowing and it's been disgusting for the past few days. But today is a good film. I mean, I need to film today. <laughs> um, I've, I, well, need. I've got my Sephora play box out in the mailbox, so uh, I need to go get that and film that. But I figure if I'm gonna be filming that, I may as well film something else too, you know? Maybe you don't know, but I know. That's the way I like to do things. So Ulta just recently was giving out their annual 20% off of your whole order or your whole purchase, however you want to put it, coupon. And I was like, yes, I live for this coupon. This is when I pick up like all of my toiletries that I hate buying. Like honestly, I've always been of the mindset like, and I mean, this is ridiculous of me, but I wish this was true. You know, stuff like toothpaste, deodorant, tampons, etc., should be free just come on I mean it's obvious why they're not free but like okay I hate buying that stuff but you know you kind of have to but so I like to wait for the Ulta 20% off of everything coupon and then I go bonkers I buy my makeup wipes I buy my Clarisonic heads I buy cotton rounds like all of that stuff that I hate normally buying and this time around I got all of that stuff but I also wanted to treat myself a little bit, so... You guys know I'm a lipstick addict, and these lipsticks were just released very, very recently, and I mean, I've always been a Burt's Bees fan. It was like my gateway drug into lip products. In high school, I had a Burt's Bees in my pocket, I had one in my backpack, I had one in the other pocket of my backpack, but <laughs> I just, I was the Burt's Bees queen, so um... You know I need to try out these lipsticks, right? Yeah, I do. Burt's Bees recently, I mean, they've always had like the tinted chapsticks and everything, but this is like a straight up lipstick. So I got two of the colors. I got Sunset Cruise and Suede Splash. I'm excited. They're cute. They're, I mean, they feel pretty cheap. Like, don't get me wrong. They're really lightweight, but they're... Okay, let's hop onto Burt's Bees' website and uh, read about the product real quick to make sure I'm doing everything right before smearing this on my lips. Like I said, this is the Burt's Bees lipstick. Straight up, it doesn't have a long crazy name. It's a lipstick that loves you back. It's 100% natural and it is $9. Comes in 14 different shades and wow, 50 reviews and it's got almost five stars, so that's exciting. What this is, intense color meets conditioning eight hour moisture. It's full coverage, vibrant color, made with moisturizing ingredients like moringa and raspberry seed oils to help soften and condition your lips all day long. So like I said, 8 hour moisture, 100% natural, 14 shades, it's got a smooth satin finish, it doesn't dry out the lips, it helps to hydrate and moisturize lips, leaving them feeling soft and smooth, and it's got natural ingredients, the packaging is recyclable, which is awesome, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to try these out. Which color should I wear today? I think I'm leaning towards Sunset Cruise, but... Well, I mean, let's swatch them in any case. So, look, I haven't even opened these yet. I haven't even taken the label off. Let's do it. Ugh. Sorry, Mom, was that too much? <laughs> mm, it just, I can't. I can't help myself. <laughs> it feels so good. I will swatch these for you real quick. So here, the first one. Okay, this is the first thing on Bird's Bees. I love you, but I've got to tell you, Wet n Wild and other companies do this too. I hate it when the lipstick pokes out the top. That is just asking to get nicked when you're trying to like put that in there. Just saying. So, hmm. It's got a very pleasant fruity smell. I wonder if it's the raspberry oil in there. It almost smells a bit like watered down raspberries. Mm, I like it. Zoom in here. As you can see, my lips do not have anything on them and they are crying out for some moisture. Thank you. 
you go there the swatches I think I'm gonna stick with sunset cruise here just because I think brighter colors look a bit better on camera when I'm filming so far I love both of these both of the colors are absolutely beautiful I think they are a little bit sheer going on but you definitely can build them up the scent is really really subtle and it can smell a bit synthetic-y. I think like the waxes in there mixing with the raspberry make it seem like a synthetic raspberry, but it's really, I think it's quite pleasant, but it is something to note if you are sensitive to fragrances like that. So far, it feels very smooth. It went on very, very silky creamy. It definitely doesn't feel like the typical Burt's Bees lip balm. It's not quite as thick and waxy feeling as that. This is much more lightweight, but it still feels very hydrating. So I'm just, I'm really excited to see how this ends up wearing throughout the day. We will see. Eight hours, I feel like is pushing it, but you know, that's what these videos are for. We shall test it, we shall see, we will do this together. I'm not doing too much today. It's a pretty typical day for me. I'm just doing another video here. I've got some last minute Christmas errands to run, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It is currently 1.40 in the afternoon. I will check in with you all very soon whenever I need to reapply the lipstick. So I will see you then. Bye! Mm -hmm. Opposite direction, our hearts are feeling cold, our minds are dejected, but we want the same thing, but just for ourselves, created for me, a personal hell.
Hello everyone, good evening. It is the end of the night here. It is currently just about one o'clock in the morning. I am ready to take off my makeup. My foundation looks ridiculous, <laughs> like really bad. Um, so I'm ready to take that off and uh, yeah, go to bed. So before I do that, let's take a look at the lipstick, shall we? I am really really impressed with this lipstick. If you are a fan of semi-sheer lightweight lipsticks, you're gonna love these. It's so comfortable on the lips. It really does feel like you just have on a lip balm, but it's got such great color payoff when you put on like more than one swipe, you know? I mean, I've had this on for more than five hours now. I can't believe it's been that long since I last checked in, but I haven't been eating anything, but I have been drinking things. Like I've been drinking out of my water bottle. That looks like I was doing shots. I was not, but that's really incredible. And even when I was eating, I had dinner, I had Subway. I haven't had Subway in such a long time. I mean, I'm talking like probably five months. It's been a long time. It didn't last through eating. I didn't expect it to, but that being said, I think it fades and wears very, very gracefully. To me, it really doesn't taste like anything. It's got like a very, 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 very like 1% tastes a little bit like synthetic fruit, but really it's very barely noticeable. I just think it feels great. My lips feel so hydrated, so moisturized, so comfortable, and I'm just, I'm a fan. I personally would recommend these to any of you if you are curious in trying them out and if this seems like a lipstick formula that you might be interested in. To me it's kind of reminiscent of a MAC Luster lipstick except a bit thinner in consistency. It's got like the same kind of a color payoff I think and yeah. I think it looks great, so I'm really excited I picked these up. As always, I just hope you guys found the video enjoyable. If you did, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up down below. And yeah, as always, I hope you guys are doing well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!